introduce this evening the, the valedictorian for the class of 2020, a phenomenal young man who has led our uh, high school in, the, in multiple areas, um, especially in the music department. He is a friend to all. It has been an honor and a privilege to work with him. With a GPA of 4.53, I introduce to you the valedictorian for the class of 2020, Casey Lang. Hello, I would like to thank Mrs. Finnerty, the school board, and the staff for this opportunity to speak today. My name is Casey Lang, and right now, just like all of us graduating today, I am a student. Firstly, I would like to congratulate all of the graduates. Our graduation marks a special milestone in our lives, one where we all will begin to branch off on our own individual paths in the stories that are our lives. Up until now, our stories have been going on side by side, all of us on pretty much the same path, elementary school, middle school, and high school. For the past 12 years, from fall through spring, seven hours a day, five days a week, we have all been here at school. Well, except for the past couple months. We've been learning math, English, history, science, art, everything that was supposed to prepare us for later in life. Well, here we are. We finally climbed up the stairs and are standing at the door that is our future. And I'm sure at times, many of you have asked the question, when will I ever use this in real life? Or why do I need to learn this? Well, I'm here to tell you that everything we've learned, every equation, every convoluted art style, every complex word was worth it. But how, you might ask, could everything we've learned have been worth it? And that question has a very simple answer. I don't know. I don't know when we're ever going to need to know what, that, what the um, Pythagorean theorem is, or what pi to the 15th decimal place is, or what a polysyndeton is. However, the fact that we don't always know when we will use what we've learned is the very reason why everything that we've learned, even the things that we initially thought were pointless, can become important in our lives. I remember that in middle school, I would always complain about art class. I wasn't going to be an artist, so what was the point of taking multiple years of art? Now I enjoy drawing as a hobby, and I am extremely thankful for those years of pointless art lessons that I now use frequently in my free time. When I was in middle school, I never thought that art would become a part of my future, but it ended up being a big one. If there's one thing that everyone's learned over the past few months, it's that the future is unpredictable. As I said earlier, we're all branching off onto our own individual paths in life, and the simple truth is that none of us know where our paths will lead us. Many of us have plans for our futures, however, none of us know what will actually end up happening. Everything we've learned throughout our educations has a chance of becoming a part of our paths in life. Right now, we are all still students, and as we branch off onto these unique paths that are our lives, we have a decision to make. We can either choose to stop being students here or choose to continue being students for the rest of our lives. We shouldn't be asking ourselves, when will we ever use this information in real life? Instead, we should be asking, will we take all of this information that we've learned, including some that might seem useless now, and be prepared to apply it to our futures? because that's what being a student truly is. A student uses what he or she has learned to achieve success. My name is Casey Lang. I am a student and I choose to continue being a student for the rest of my life. I believe that all of this information we've learned has been worth it. And that if we continue to learn through the rest of our lives, it will lead to success. As Henry Ford once said, anyone who stops learning is old, whether at 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. So I ask you all, does your journey in life as a student end here or do you choose to let it continue? Thank you.
Casey Thomas Lang. Congratulations.